Hello everybody, how are you? This is Andrea and welcome to my new art room tour video. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Alright, please come in. It has been two or three years since my very first room tour video, so it was about time for an update. Things have changed quite a lot. First of all, we moved to a new apartment. So now I have my very own studio room. Secondly, this new setup is much more functional and organized. That way it can help me to be more effective and productive. I wanted to create a place that inspires me and makes me happy. And it's definitely working much much better than the previous apartment. I mean, it is still a work in progress room. I honestly already feel cramped in here. But I will just need to be patient for another 5 years or so until we're able to get our own place and then I can get a larger studio for myself. But hey, it is already a massive upgrade, so I am definitely super happy and grateful for it. Okay, so my studio is also my change room. Here I have all of my clothes, my vanity desk, makeup, hair products and so on. Our previous apartment was much more spacious and had a ton of storage space, but this one was the opposite, so I had no choice but to have all of this in my studio. You will probably notice a lot of fairy lights in here. I just love them, they create such a nice ambience. Here is a small IKEA chair with a blanket on top just to make it a bit more comfy, some fluffy pillows that I really like but have nowhere to put, and here is my heater and fan, and there is my collection of cozy jumpers. Next to it you can see my old umbrella light. At the very top of this IKEA shelving unit I have my silhouette cameo too. This little guy cuts all of my stickers as you probably already know. On the lower shelf I have some of my mini clothes. Then below those there is my laser printer that I use for black and white printing and printing labels and forms for my Etsy store. Next to it I have all of the sticker labels and paper that I use with my laser printer. On the very last shelf I have a sponge damper to glue postage stamps. And then in this white storage unit I have all of the stickers, custom forms and stamps that I need to ship out my Etsy orders. The second drawer holds a bunch of sketchbooks, nothing too exciting. Ok, let's keep on moving. The next shelving unit is again from Ikea. At the very top I have some of my planners, a Sailor Moon prop, a book with inspirational quotes and some other cute things. Below that I have my little Sailor Moon shelf with a bunch of cute items and then at the back you can also see my silver play button. I love this section, it always makes me so happy whenever I look at it. Next, here on the left you can see some illustration, fashion and reference books. And on the right there are doll related books. Mm -hmm. 
On the second last shelf there are even more books. Most of these are about illustration, painting and sewing. At the very front you can see a gorgeous illustration of Jess from The Awesome Jasmine. It's been a few years but I still love it so so much. At the very bottom I have a storage box where I keep some filming equipment. Ok, let's keep on moving. This big industrial looking shelving unit comes from Officeworks. It is literally huge. It's holding so much stuff. Look at it! As you can see I've covered it with a bunch of fake plants to give it a more softer look. At the very bottom I have three large boxes. This dotted one has a bunch of shipping supplies. From bubble wrap to tissue paper, shredded paper, boxes and more. The brown box next to it has a bunch of doll clothes that I haven't organized yet. On top of that box I have a light pad, some cutting mats and sketchbooks. The box next to it has all of my sculpting and casting supplies. And then sitting on its lid is a bunch of plastic bags for my Etsy store. I hope to have things better organized in the future. I really need more drawers to store all of these things. On the second shelf I have my Copics collection, some planner stickers, rollers, and at the back, in the dark where no one can see, I store my original doll boxes. Moving on, here is my little calendar that I mostly use to track my video releases and Instagram posts. Then to the right I have two storage units from Muji. As you can see I've labeled most of them just so I know what's stored inside. Here for example I have some wig products, oil mists, wax and so on. Then here are some eye making supplies and even more eye making supplies. Then stickers, glitter and flock material and so on. Ok, let's go to the next level. Here is my main printer that I use for my Etsy store. It is an Epson Surecolor P600 and it is an A3 printer. I've talked about it in one of my recent videos, but I really love this big bad boy. It can print so well, especially if you're not afraid to tweak its settings. Then to the left you can see all of my sticker paper stock. Both glossy, transparent and matte. These ones are always used with this specific printer. This is why I have it sitting next to it. Moving to the right side, here I have all of my charms, stickers and some packing supplies used for my Etsy store. Some of the charms are already in their plastic bags, while others are still waiting for their turn. You may remember seeing these in my Etsy behind the scenes video, but I basically move all of these items to my main desk whenever I am packing my Etsy orders. Ok, let's keep going. The next shelf is quite boring. It is mostly used to store shipping boxes and mailers. Here at the very front you can see some magnetic tins that I found in Ikea and Daiso. They're really handy. One last thing that I forgot to show is the shredded paper that I use for my Etsy packaging. I like to keep each of the colors in its own separate container. 
Okay, so this is it for this shelf. Let's check out the very top one. This one is super simple. It has even more boxes. Then I have some pencils and watercolors in their boxes. Then there is a microphone and another storage unit. This one is A3 in size. So I have all of my A3 papers in there for when I'm ready to start selling prints of my illustrations. Alright, and this is my massive shelving unit. Let's now move on to my desk. So this is my desk. In the middle you can see my footrest and then the yellow device next to it is my compressor and the airbrush. Then here is my laptop. As you can see I am also working on a new project. This one is a new wig making series for Patreon. This time we are making Goddess Madoka, so that has been very fun and challenging. To the right I have my phone, planner and my daily to-do list. This big centerpiece unit comes from Ikea. I use it to store a variety of items. I have some camera lenses that I use very often. Then there are some of my favorite LOL dolls, because, you know, they're so cute and plus some other toys and figures that I got from Japan. Then I have this adorable bunny plushie. To the left is a jar with brushes that I use for face-ups and wig making. And to the far right there are two Kiki K candles, a Pushin plush and more souvenirs from our trip to Japan. Moving down I have more face-up supplies from gloss to shimmers and glitters and then if we keep on going there is even more face-up supplies. I have all of my pastels and watercolors that I use to customize dolls. To the left I have a bunch of pencils and some of my Sailor Moon charms and pins. At the back there is more adorable fake succulents and other random knickknacks. And this is roughly it for this unit. Let's move further to the right. First of all, here I have my Chloe trio. As usual, they're looking super cute. To the right you can see another plant that is decorated for Christmas. It is still December now when I'm filming this, that's why. But I think I will release this video sometime in January or February. Then behind my dolls you can also see some more storage units from Ikea. In there I keep all sorts of random stuff from nail polish to doll wigs and other craft supplies. Then here I have my collection of Kiki K paper lovers books and on top of that you can see a bunch of receipts that I need to organize from last month to give to my accountant for taxes and all of that boring but necessary adult stuff. One last thing that I want to show you is the desk itself, because it is a mechanical electric standing desk. I got it from Officeworks and it has customizable presets to shift from sitting to standing positions. Right now it is set on preset number 1, which is my sitting height. But if I press preset number 2, it will raise up to my preferred standing height. The best and most impressive thing is that the movement of this desk is so gentle and smooth that none of my dolls or toys have ever been knocked over. Both Jess and Cassie are standing on their own right now and have always been fine. Okay, let's lower the desk again. 
I swear this is one of the best investments I've ever made. It has helped me so much with my back pain, muscle cramps and posture. I love it so much. Oh, and before we move on, here is my main microphone that I use for my voiceovers. Okay, next is another shelving unit from IKEA. At the very top I have a candle and some other decorations. Then I have a framed print from Kelsey Beckett. I think I've shared this one in the past, but I love it. And next to it there is a very old photo of my and my husband's family and some adorable succulents. Now here are all of my custom vinyl dolls that I still own and among those you can probably see two resin dolls. You might be familiar with these since I've pretty much made videos for every single one of them. Moving one shelf lower I have more books. These are mostly about dolls and dollhouses. Then there is my Winter Miku Figma to the right and my precious Pantone book to the left. The other compartments have simply more craft and wig making supplies. And then on the floor you can see my Cintiq protective sleeve and my planner's bag to keep it in good condition when traveling. To the left we have Her Majesty's presents. Namine always keeps me company whenever I work in my studio. She is such a cutie. Alright, this crazy thing is the super popular IKEA Raskok cart. It is filled with all sorts of tools, supplies and materials. I will not go too much into detail because there are just too many items in there. But yeah, I definitely used every single inch of this cart. When I have a larger studio, I plan to buy another cart just to split the load and have all of these better organized. And this is it for the crazy artist cart. Moving to the right, I have a ring light that I mostly use as a secondary light. I mostly need it occasionally for that extra boost of brightness on certain days. Okay, we're almost at the end. Last thing that I want to show you is the closet. I use half of it for my clothes and half of it for my dolls. Let me show you. Here is the rest of my doll collection, including props, doll eyes and random accessories. Then there is even more craft supplies, planner related material, vinyl dolls ready to be customized and more. At the very top there are more boxes with doll clothing, wigs and other random items. This closet needs the most work I think. I really want to organize everything better because it's a little bit too chaotic for me. And this is it guys, I hope that you've enjoyed my updated art room tour video. If you've watched my previous room tour video you might be wondering where I put my video editing setup. And that one has been moved to the living room next to my husband's computer. We decided to do it this way just so I'm not locked in here 24-7. Alright then, it is time for me to go. Thank you so much for watching this video, take care and I will talk to you again next week. Bye!